Hi, my name is Sarah Davey, and this is the story of how I met Charles Walters. I was walking down the street in Brooklyn on, I think it was an October day. I remember like being really startled that I saw this guy walking down the street in shorts and then looked next to him and it was my good friend Andrew. So we stopped and we chatted. It was one of these days where I didn't really, it was like a Sunday, didn't shower, just getting some exercise. I remember just thinking it was really quirky that he was wearing shorts on a really cold day. I was immediately taken by her, by her beauty and personality. Andrew told me that Charles was planning a trip uh, around the world. I had actually been in the planning stages of traveling around the world for about 10 years. I run a nonprofit organization that focuses on uh, public health in Africa. My friend Andrew told me, oh, her organization is having this event in a month or so. We should go. He ended up being the first person who showed up. It was disappointing to go to the event though and, and meet her boyfriend at the time. He stayed for the event and he went around and met everybody and he was super social and, uh, and he made a really strong impression on me. And actually soon after that I ended the <laughs> relationship with someone I was seeing. We intensely started dating within two, three weeks after that. But there was this trip lingering over us and I knew he was leaving and I didn't know when. I knew he was postponing it because he was having fun with me, but I just sort of was prepared for him to go away for a year. I really wanted her to go with me and I think for a long time we were trying to figure it out. It's like, why don't you take two weeks off from work? Come travel with me for two weeks. And then it turned into, why don't you take a leave of absence for a month, maybe two months, maybe we can even stretch it into three months to, gosh, why don't you just quit your job and just travel with me? And I said, what? How? I have an apartment. I have a job. I don't have any money. <laughs> Kept saying it's an offer of a lifetime. Tried to appeal to her romantic side. He said, if I told you that we could make it work and, and that it would, you know, be okay. I said, okay. But, you know, I wanted to trust, but I also was terrified. You really want look back and go, gosh, I wish I'd stayed here and worked. I just decided that I couldn't let my fear sort of overwhelm me to the point where I didn't embrace the experience. I don't know that I would have done it, but somehow I convinced her to do it, so. Not knowing each other for even a year before you leave to go to travel around the world. But we were geared, so geared up for that challenge. It was very intense and really amazing. He's a go, 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 go person, you know, and um, a lot of times we were only in one country for three days and we'd move on to another country. In 300 days, we saw 30 countries. We traveled up from Tanzania to Kenya, Ethiopia, into Egypt. From Egypt, we went over into Jordan, then Syria, Israel, Lebanon, Turkey. From Turkey, we flew over to India, from India, we went to Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Myanmar. From Myanmar, we went to back to Thailand, but to Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Bali, Hong Kong, China. From China, we went to South Korea, Japan, hopscotched in the Guam, technically back in the United States, to Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii, and then back home. Of course, there's always times of stress, you know, when airports, you know, when your plane doesn't come or your luggage is too heavy. And we often had huge bags. We were carrying on and off buses and into hostels and so there was always an element of stress involved in any kind of travel. I'd seen the pictures of the Great Wall in China and I'd read somewhere that, that the Great Wall was the only man-made structure that you could see from space. When we were getting out of the car to go up to the wall, he said, as he got out of the van, he goes, are you nervous? And she thought, well, what are you talking about? I said, well, just, you know, we're going to be hiking. And I said, how about what? 
I know how to hike. I found the most beautiful spot on the wall to have our picnic and drink a little wine and eat cheese. We were sitting sort of um, legs crossed, you know, knee to knee. I had the, pulled out the, the case with the, the ring that I'd bought in India. Opened it up and asked her if she would marry me and spend the rest of her life with me. My immediate response was yes, of course. I thought I was going to get a yes, but you never know until you actually get it. <laughs>